Hi there. So in the previous video, I showed you how to install Focus in three simple steps. So in this video, I hope to show you how to install Automatic 1111 in three easy steps, probably four or five, plus on additional remarks. So one important thing that here, you, what you are looking in the screen is the user interface. As you can see, it's very different from the user interface that we, we have in Focus. And let me go here that I have it open. But also look at the results. So here I was generating a human robot. So Focus uh, generated these images, fantastic. Whereas when I'm using, uh, in this case, no stable diffusion, but with our automatic 1111 11 generated this image. They are not bad, but it's not as impressive as the one generated with Focus. This doesn't mean that our automatic 1111 11 is worse than Focus. The only thing is that that the main difference here are the libraries and models. So remember the models are those applications, libraries, files that I'm going to generate that are, those are the files that are going to do everything to make everything vibrant, colorful. So look at the difference, very different models. So here I know that in this one is using the Juggernaut model plus some styles. And here is using a standard stable diffusion model. Actually, you have it here with no style. So this is the main difference. So the big advantage of using Focus is because is that it has been already customized with very effective, very good, very advanced models. So it will, it will generate fantastic images. And see here, you need to do things manually and look at how complex it is. You have many entries. So we talk about that all this AI, AIR is about text to image, but it's not any more text to image. You have image to image and many more stuff. So no other options to add extension and, and more. Uh, look at here, each auction will give you more options. So since they're going to get, get more complex. So as I mentioned, I like to use this one to create base images. And then if I want to uh, improve these images, and if I cannot do it here using focus and move to a stable diffusion, uh, automatic 1111, but also for many things I use a uh, stable diffusion automatic 1111 to do some other tasks that later we're going to study. So here in this video, I'm going to show you how to install this, uh, user interface and a basic example. So stay tuned. So let me show you the three easy steps to install automatic 1111. After these steps, you can stop watching the video and you can move to another channel, another video, or if you want, you can watch the standard detailed explanation and we'll show you another tutorial. Any case, go to this website. Okay. You have the link in the description. Then I recommend you to read a little bit what you have here, but to install, just go here and you have here the steps. So just download the zip file, where you have all the library, everything compressed, and then follow two update and three run bad. I will show you the steps. And then there are two extra extent steps, or let's say tweaks that you can do in your modification two or three or more No, but that is in the detail that is in the detail explanation. So you click here, you will download it in my case. I already download everything I have it here. So just to show you that you can have many installations living together. Be careful that this stuff is, is big. It takes space. So I'm working on this one. Go there and let me extract that one might be a little bit time consuming. Okay. The bit of your computer. So it is extracting and let's wait. Okay, now that I have it there, I extract the files. I enter in the directory. When you extract everything, you have all the files. There is no need to insert anything else. Everything is done automatically by the script that you have there. So in the detail description there, I mentioned a little bit about that, but your next step will be here. Double click here, and this will do an update. If 
if it outdated the installation will install a new file so otherwise it won't do anything uh, sometimes it might happen that you get this blue screen depending on the security level that you have in your windows machine in my case i have a high one so click there and then run anyway and it will run the script so it will open the command prompt there and nothing to do so see that everything is up to date press enter that's all and this is our, our step, the final one, click here. Same concept, so click there, here, and that one is a time consuming step. Okay, so here it's going to move files, create directories, and download a lot of files. But in theory here, you are done. Remember, you need to be connected to the internet. This will be time consuming because the files are big files. You have your models there. So be prepared to wait for a little bit and let's see what happens at the end. But in theory, you should be done when scenes are already installed. It will open a web browser and that's it. Okay, at this point, we're done when you see that the web browser put out means that everything is fine you have your installation and this is your user interface very different from the one from focus so later we're going to talk about this so this is it these are your steps just to mention here look at your terminal here you see that it's downloading a lot of files so basically when you click on that button the run button that is what it's doing moving files installing stuff downloading scenes and expanding compressing sense so let me show you that now that you have it working you know that it's working let me close it and when you close it and you want to launch it again just click and run back and that's all it will reopen everything and later I'm going to show you, you know, in the next part of this video some tweaks and some options that you can add you now to make things faster. But at this point, we're done. Uh, just to mention also that also before running, you can click here update and it's going to update your installation if there are updates. So at this point, I'm done. Let's wait until launch everything just to be 100% sure that, sure that the installation went fine. So pay attention to this message that you have here here okay this is not a problem but later i'm going to show you how to to address that and that's it it is running so at this point okay we have a good installation you are happy you're ready to run and also feel free just to change channel change video look at something else because we're done the next part of this video is just to address some detailed detailed explanations and a short introduction of this user interface. Hi there. So now let's address the installation of uh, automated element eleven. So similar to Focus or Focus, depending on how many ops O's you want to put there, ops is pronounced. But similar to that library, you need to download the main executable or the main compressed library is tracked and then click somewhere and it will install everything. So in my personal experience, it is as straightforward as focus, but it might happen that from time to time, something will go wrong. I don't know. I know in a system that I have it happen, but it's not the rule. Probably it's this action. So, <clears throat> so <clears throat> you click here and here you are going to have a basic instruction like in the previous library and in this case i invite you not to read everything you have many links wiki libraries and so on so, so on so in the video description you have all those links but what is important here what we need to do and similar to the previous one here you have installation and running and see that like in the previous one also you have a linux installation mac installation Okay. And I hope to do a video for the Linux installation and also have a, I also have a Mac computer, but similar to Linux, if I have time or somebody's having problems, probably can do it. But in any case, just read there, but let's do the easiest installation, the one that you should do. Okay. Won't give you a problem. It is for Windows, Windows 11. 
and you have it here. So installation of Windows 10 11. And this section, when I mentioned that I have problem with Windows 10, it wasn't a straightforward. So I know with Windows 11, it works very well. So the first step is download this file. So you just click here. So you go there and then you have another link. And this is the one that you need to download and you get that library. Then you need to copy that library to another directory, extract the library and then click, click follow these steps. Okay. So it will be two additional steps apart from this one. So let's do it. So here I go, I have the download. So this is the latest library and let me go here. And just to show you, I'm installing everything. So remember, you can install this anywhere you want. You even in a external hard drive here, I have it. And I will put it here, okay, in this one. I already have this installation, so I already tweak everything in so many libraries. So later I'm going to show you that in some other videos. So let's do the base installation. So let me copy that one that I just download. Might be an update yesterday, who knows? And the first step it is extract everything so it's a zip format extract all go there and it will extract the file remember these files are big okay and big compressed but then when you click to install they are going to download the models and those models are even bigger so you need hard drive space so be careful about that so let's wait for that installation just to remind you that you can put it anywhere you want. In this case, I put it here. So now I extracted everything and I click here. So following the instructions that you have here in the website. So the first step is run update back. So this one is going to do an update of whatever you downloaded. And then the run back like in focus is going to download some libraries and set up your scripts and everything. So this will be also the the script that you are going to use to launch the library after you do the first installation. So in the first installation, you download many files, but then after that, you need to download that or they're going to download only is there are new files. Uh, also I invite you, you can read this script, you open there. So later we're going to modify what is happening. So you can see that is what it's doing. So let's follow these steps. I'm going to do everything live. I'm not going to do to cut the video. So let's see if hopefully we're not going to get any problem, uh, any problem. So the first step is update bad. Remember, so when you get this more info, so in my case, I get getting this probably I have a higher security level and you're in some cases, it might be a little, a little bit more loose your security in Windows. So depending on what you have, not everybody will get it, but you click there more info and then run anyway. It's going to open this one and then do all the magic. So as for focus, it comes with its own Python library. You need to have that Python dependency. So here you have press any key. So happens, what happened? Nothing. Okay. It's okay. Didn't need to install anything. And now click run here, send a step. This is a share a step and run anyone. So it's going to do the, the next step. So what I was telling that here, you don't need to install anything. All the libraries comes with the system here. So let's wait a little bit while it, while it is doing its magic. Okay, so open the prompt. So if you go into system, say that you have Python and GIT or JIT to download the library. So you everything is already uh, included with this zip file. And now it is the, uh, downloaded the library. As I mentioned, these are big libraries. Later, we're going to see where those libraries are installed. But let's go here now where you have the kernel of the library and all those models are installed here. Models, and you're going to have it there. So those are, as I mentioned, big files. So here is just populating everything. We haven't downloaded anything, but we need to wait a little bit to get those files there. Okay, so I'm back. So you see here that the web browser win window 
put out suddenly. So that is an indication that everything has been installed. Okay, and it will open the, the window. So here in the command line interface, your terminal, you have all these steps. Just to point out that this is a little bit time consuming. Remember that you are downloading big files. So you are downloading everything and then it will move some files, extract files. And when you have everything, you're going to have your clean uh, automatic 11.11 installation. Okay, so this is clean. As you recall, at the beginning, I show you my personal version that I have many more options there. It has been personalized, but this is your starting point. Uh, also to show you the what you, you hear, the directory structure. So the most important one here will be models. And as you go here, you're going to start to see the models stable diffusion. So this is the base model. So as you go back to focus, that is a different model that it tends to give much better results. So you put your models there according to the libraries that you have. And just to show you, let me go here, focus, and you have it here, uh, enter here, and models, checkpoints, and these are your base models that we have in focus. So this is the idea you need to get those models. And we talk about talking about models. So let me go back uh, here to the installation. So I am installing here. So models are very important. So if you download a new model, you're going to start to personalize your version or you can even train your models. So you put it there according to your library. Uh, no, these are models, models, sorry. You put it here or you have Loda libraries that that is something just to, to improve your images. So they're way much small, smaller than these models and they give very good results. So just to remind you that you have many links. So to know a little bit more about stable diffusion, you have these two links there. Then you have the Git repository where you have all the libraries. So you can read a little bit there. And to download additional uh, models, you have Civit AI, you have many models here. Okay, so you have, be careful here, you're going home. Okay, you have the main directory and you have some introduction and then you can click in images to see some images. And these are actually images and see that you can generate animations as well. So hopefully we're going to show you how to do that, but it's not very straightforward, but it's very impressive. impressive. And we're, we're interested in the models here. You click models and you have many models and here it's up to you to pick up one. So you have this one. We talk about also Lexica to get the prompts. And there is another another link called Hogging Face. So let me go here, Hogging Face. We also show in the other one that here also you have now, this is where all the community gathers and put the models so you can download many models there. So it will be up to you to pick up the best models. Later, we're going to see that there are many options and sometimes you, you don't want to download a big file. So you use a lot of model and so on. Okay. So just to mention that, and this is your interface. Okay. So it's a little bit different from the uh, one in focus It's way more complex. As I mentioned, I like to use focus, easy cases. And if I cannot get anything better using focus and move here where I have more control. So just to give you a brief introduction, what you have here. So here you can choose your checkpoint, your library. So in this case, we have only one here. You have your prompt here. You have a negative prompt. And just to make it clear. So for, for instance, let me say like an apple coming, coming here to Prompts are extremely important. This is prompt engineering that I think it's going to be a very good profession in the future. So you need to give meaningful prompts and try to avoid abstract concepts just to make it like say three apples. So you have a, la a language model there, but likely three apples is not going to recognize that. So it's going to give you a figure, can be three, two, one. I think I show you that, but later we're going to do. So let's say three apples and um, be careful with the grammar. And you need to be very, very clear. You need to convey that idea. As I mentioned, you need to give a noun, an adjective and a bear. Okay. So you need to an object. A modifier for that object, like change the color, location, whatever, and an action, what it's doing. Then you have negative prompts, what you, you don't want in that image. So let's say that I don't want, let's say I don't want to see the moon, probably it's going to put the moon. I don't want to see a tree. 
or and I don't want to see, let's say, people. You put it there. So be careful that this this is already negative. So don't put no people. You're a double neg uh, negative. So maybe it's going to give you problems. And this is the most basic stuff. Then you have all these actions. My advice here is just to read the documentation. Oh, let's go here. And you have the website here. So take a time here. You have a wiki link and so on to, to get an idea of all these actions. But you can see here that there are many options that there were not exposed in, in, in focus. So the idea is focus is the made sense as easy as possible, getting the best parameters here. You need to tweak your parameters. So you have many options. I'm not going into detail, but you keep clicking there and so on, and you can get, you can keep going image to image extras and so on. So just to show you here, you now people and let's generate an image. So sometimes as for the other libraries, if you do something and you need an this case, automatic 11, 11, need another library. It will download that automatically just one time and then you have it there. So let's click generate. So important here is that bash size is the number of images that you want. So let me put two there, like in the previous case and in focus, it was generating two. You click there and I have here just to show you that now it's running in the GPU, everything in the GPU. So all this stuff is done in the GPU. You can also work in the CPU. There are some uh, steps to do that, but it tends to, it tends to be more efficient in the GPU. But yeah, as you have many CPUs will be much faster, but then is the energy consumption. Okay. Topic. So it will consume more energy. So these are the two images that we have, and you can keep trying and trying and trying. From here, we can build up in many concepts. So for instance, you can go image to image and you can get an image here. Okay. So let me generate it there and you can imp improve that image. So you have options that like sketch in pain in pain sketch. Later, we're going to, to talk about that. And so, so there is a lot of stuff to do there, but I didn't do anything because I didn't put anything there. And to show you also when, if you are working here, like in focus and in the other ones, you have a default directory where everything is going to be safe. So you have your outputs and you can come here and you have the images and let me go drop and drop here and you have the image and just to show you a little bit what you can do. Uh, 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 let me go here. So this is part of this tutorial, but be careful that we still need to do some modifications in the installation. So let me do in pain in pain means that you mask a region. So for those using Adobe are very familiar with masking and so on. And then I want to say something to do something there. So let's say add a let's say blue flower and happy with that and generate. So basically it will keep the same image, but it's going to add whatever I say there. So see here that it's already working and actually have it there. It just added something not very nice, but Okay, but you can get an idea. But the point here is that this needs to be impro improved. There have many, many options here to control. And yeah, this is going, it's going to blow your mind and going to show you some options, not control, uh, control net and so on. So let's close this. I give, give you a short in introduction. Okay. So let me, let me see here and Let's go back here where we install this library. So we already have it working. And now if you want to launch it again, just click there and that's all. It's going to open it. Uh, my advice regarding the, the web browsers, I'm using Microsoft Edge. Honestly, my personal experience, I think it's the one that is give, give, give me the best results. But be careful that you are not running anything in the web browser. It's just the interface. And I think it's a cleaner interface. Sometimes I want to save some files and I think it, it works better, but pretty much I think Firefox, uh, Edge or 
or Chrome, like, they are going to give you the same results. So there you go. So let me close. Remember to close here. If you want to update, just click there. So you do that probably once a month. I don't know. So it's already up to date. But what I want to show you, and let me click here again. So I click there and be careful with the messages that we have in the screen. And there will be a particular one. Let's see if we have it. An extra option. So now we're going to tweak this installation. So we follow three steps to install. It was relatively easy, super easy. At least if you are using Windows 11. And let's see how we can tweak this. Okay, so now it's opening the wet user interface. And let's see. Okay, so look at this map message. No mobile Xformer. So Xformer is an extra library that you can use to accelerate the image generation or all these models. So these are the <clears throat> let's say modifiers, transformers that you can add. And it, it is a strongly recommended to install them. So to install those libraries, additional libraries, uh, remember always read here, you're going to have some comments there, some documentation. So here you have the wiki and so on, a lot of stuff. So take your time, but I think the main tweak that you can do is this one to add those transformers. So let me open here and this one, see open, you see that it's calling another script. So it actually is calling to environment, this one. Okay. So you can see what is happening. So it's, it's calling the, its own Python library and everything. Remember that you have to be very careful with the Python library that you are using. It have to be the 310. So this way of installing the, the, this library, it will guarantee that you have the right library, but as you do it manually, you have to be very careful because PyTorch or, and all those neural networks libraries and so on, they work with that a specific library. Okay. So you have this one and let me open this one and see that this one is calling with you, user bad, and you have it here. So as you come here. And you have many more files here. So you have a readme. Okay. So you're also invited to read that readme file, but we want to open this one. So you see that you have this one and you have space to put some information here. So Python, Git, and the important one is this one. Okay. So then after you do this one, it will call this wet UE bad, and this is it's going to execute all these commands. So you can kind of adjust everything to your like, but here, what we want to do is to add this option X minus minus X former. So this is this extra library that I recommend you to install to speed up the, the generation. There are some other options. Now it comes to my mind. That is this one that I think pretty much is useless or depends on the system, probably in Linux or Mac, you will need it. So auto launch means that automatically it's going to launch the, the browser window. Otherwise you need to open it and copy the address. You remember will give you in the terminal and address. I'm going to show you that, but I, th I think it's done automatically in windows. I haven't checked some other systems, or maybe you have this option also, if I were recall, this is regarding the hardware. So remember you need a good hardware. Okay. So at least it's recommended to use eight gigs of memory in your, in your GPU. If you have something like less than that, use this option. And I guess it's going to optimize your memory usage. So in my case, I have a, for, for a laptop computer, I have a good GPU is a NVIDIA 46 with eight gigs. So it works relatively fast, but it can be way much, much better. So this is the only option that I'm going to use. Let me save and also I invite you to use a decent text editor. Do not use the one that comes with, with windows, the notepad. So here I'm using sublime text, which is free another free publicity. So now I did it and you click here, run bad. So remember that you added that auction 
and when you run here likely or likely no i know it's going to then load these auctions and if you do a benchmarking without and with this auction you will see that it's faster so see that here it's telling you it's installing that it is going to do it just one time the first time that you run it it will install and that's all and maybe it will do it again if you update okay so if you click in an update it's going to do it so at this point let's wait for this installation this should be faster okay there there, there you go you have it and as i mentioned automatically will launch the web browser at least in Windows, I need to check the other operating system. So if it doesn't launch that the that, that web browser, just copy this address there. And in any web browser, okay, let me go here and put it there. You put it there and we'll open now your client and that's all. So be careful about that, but my experience that is in Windows, it works. So now there you go. You have it and pretty much, I think, those are the auctions now, or that, is, that one is the auction that you can do there in the script to open. And to show you another auction here, it, it is important that you can also add extensions now. So, so you go here, these extensions, and now install from available. Okay, you click there load from is going to load all these extensions available so extensions as it say it will improve whatever you want so for instance i know that a very good extension that i recommend you so let me go back here and see that uh you didn't have any aspect ratio auction um, let me go and to show you something so let's generate two apples talking about abstract concepts Okay, prompts are very important and ready to show you in another video, you have it there, Lexica, which is a library that you can get you now, the prompts, but also you can come here in Stable Diffusion. There are many things, no many libraries that you can get an idea and Night Cafe, you can get examples, but take, take a look that I asked for two apples and put it three. So it's very important to have good prompts and avoid abstract concepts. So what I was talking about here is that you generate you know, your, 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 your prompt. And I lost the track what I was doing, but okay. So we have the prompt. I wanted to show you that. And if I come now to uh, here, I have it. Yeah, I recall now that see that there is no aspect ratio option. So you need to give it here. So for instance, you go here and you type aspect ratio and you're going to get some extensions so new libraries that you can add aspect ratio so for instance install this one and just wait until install everything uh let me install this one okay so see here that you have what is happening so you need to wait until everything is done and after you install that you install a new extension there are many extensions available so I think I recommend you to install that one. There is one to do soon, but that one I think is already included. Okay, so later we're going to see why you might need to do you know, the soon, the canvas soon and so on. So now that I have that in stack extensions, okay, you can play around with all these auctions. You have settings, you can also, you hear you have many settings and this stuff wasn't exposed in focus so you have many many auctions and i don't want to get into details but one that it might be important or i want to show you so here saving the password files are safe and so on so many things are self-explanatory but one that i would like to use to see let me see if i recall post processing maximum Okay, sampler. So you can play around with the, all those actions. The one I wanted, I forgot. A stable diffusion checkpoints libraries. So as you see, you have a lot of let me call it uh, bad medicine installed there. But yeah, you can feel free. You feel free to 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 play with all those 
options. So we install those extensions and let's do something. I like to do it somewhere here. There is an option that you can update your user interface. I don't like to use that one. Okay, here, apply and restart. So see that we install that one. I don't want like to use this one because in my personal experience, it kind of, it, it is a little bit slow use memory and in some occasions it crash. I know for the reason, but it crash. So I prefer to close it and then reopen. And when you reopen the library, uh, you are going to have everything. But see that it's a little bit slow kind of is doing, I will say, a cold restart. So let's wait. And there you go. So now I restart it. And if you recall, you will see that there is a different here that previously we didn't have this. So now we have this, though, so these are the aspect ratios and so on. So you can now do, let me do now three apples and a tree. Okay, uh, let me put to there, this aspect ratio, and let me put some negative prompts so I don't want no, 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 let's say no cars. Generate. And here you have now all these steps, what is happening. You always can check here what it's doing, generating the images. Also, you have your GPU in this case is going crazy in my, my case. And if you need new libraries, it's going to install everything just one time. And there you go. So look at the concept, three apples. So in this case, it was good. In this case, no, not very good. But this is it. Remember, we have many libraries. So depending on the style that you add, you can get very different outcomes like in the beginning. So I think with this, we have you now a good starting point. So feel free to play with, with the auctions and so on. You can update. Actually, the last thing that I want to show you that I told you that this will blow your mind. There is another library that I strongly recommend to install, which is ControlNet. Okay, so as you go here, same, same as previously, load front and then you go control net and this one is a library just to do use to improve images you keep the same image but then you apply a new prompt or a new technique to improve that image so it's very powerful i love that, that library and later we're going to work with that so this is the one that you need to install now is the you no know, stable diffusion what ue control that manipulations And just talking about that, you need also, let me go control the net, uh, hugging face, because you install that library, but then you need to install also the models. So as you go here, you have models and you can then load your models. So there are many models I'm just taking from this user. I already mentioned that this user is very well known in the community and you can download different models. So I recommend you for control net. We're going to prepare another video on that, but control net, I recommend you to install just canny dev and open polls. Okay. Fantastic models. And to talk about control net, and if you want to know what is happening, control net, just look for that control net. Control net, JIT, and you have it there. Okay, so as you said, you have a readme. So control net, what is doing is this. So you have this is image to image, so you get an image and canny edge is going to find the edges. Then you have here different images, different techniques. So this is basically mind blowing. You can take an image and then build on top of that image. Well. And this is the most impressive stuff you get. and scribble no a doodle there you draw and then you using this draw an actual image impressive okay many many options and this is very cool i will show you now this you can use videos animated videos with this so you can take a sequence open post is going to get you now the main characteristic and then using this one you can you can do a new image with this pose or animated and so on so this is control net 
it's, it's mind blowing. I have to say, blew my mind when the first time I used it. So there you go. We have a stable diffusion running locally. So we installed there after you install that same step here, install, apply and restart and start to play. As I say here, the interface is way much, much convoluted that like in focus, unlike in focus, but we're going to get our way here. So I hope you find this video useful and see you next time. Bye.